Well, it's been a tough week for some of Metro Vancouver's favorite holiday events, including bright nights in Stanley Park. Their Christmas train hasn't been running for the last three days because of mechanical issues brought on by the cold weather. With more on that, we're joined by Gord Ditchburn, president of the BC Professional Firefighters Bird Fund. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Jen, for having us. So obviously a lot of disappointed families and of course uh, your, uh, your firefighters, et cetera, that are taking part is having a major impact on donations, this uh, temporary shutdown. So what can you tell us about that? Well, Bright Nights is our, is our biggest fundraiser of the year. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, it, you know, and this year we're impacted like a lot of people. Uh, the weather, uh, COVID restrictions, now this past week with freezing temperatures, the snow, uh, it's impacted our ability to operate uh, the trains and provide that uh, excitement for families that uh, every year have come out to support us. And, you know, this year our, our online donations are down almost 40%. Uh, our gate donations are down over 80% and compared to our last year of 2019 of running bright nights. And it's so it's severely impacted our ability to raise funds that allow us to offer the various burn fund programs that support burn survivors across the province. And as you'll know, we created the 50-50 lottery uh, last year to help with that. And this year we're trying to do the same. And uh, so we're reaching out to the public to ask for their support in this. Uh, and in lieu of un being unable to attend the bright nights, um, and, and hopefully that'll help us uh, be able to carry on. So is Bright Nights done for the year now, or do you think you might be able to have a couple more days? Well, we're hoping that the, uh, that the train will get back in operation. Uh, again, the safety of our public is paramount, and uh, you know, the trains won't operate if, if it's not safe. So um, it's a winter wonderland out there with the snow, but unfortunately it impacts the ability to operate the train. Uh, again, hence the reason we, uh, with last year, we created the, the lottery that's uh, allowing us to raise funds, and you know, we need the public to uh, help us in that regard. What kind of programs are funded uh, by the fundraising? Well, traditionally, we've got our Home Away program, which which allows families to stay at our Burn Fund Center in Vancouver uh, while their loved ones are receiving treatments uh, and care at the various hospitals. It's, uh, it's a facility that allows uh, families to uh, re uh, rest and focus their entire energy on, on their loved ones. Uh, as we all know, it's tough to get accommodations in this city and, and it is pricey. Uh, our burn camps, uh, uh, being able to offer um, three levels of camps from our tots to our teens to our adults and you know, uh, providing burn fund garments that aren't covered under the medical plan in this province. Uh, programs such as that, our prevention program that hits all the schools. Mm -hmm. um, your 50-50 ticket raffle, now I remember reading that you were hoping to get it up to maybe even as high as a million dollars. Where is it at right now in comparison to last year? Well, last year we were able to raise just over half a million. We set our sights at a higher total this year of up, 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 up to a million. We're currently sitting at just under 300,000. And, you know, we're asking the public if, uh, if they can to uh, visit our website at burnfund.org and purchase some tickets and then tell some friends who can purchase some tickets. Um, this is a tremendous opportunity to support the burn fund right across the entire province uh, and allow us to continue to offer the programs that our burn survivors need. Absolutely, well hopefully people are able to support and uh, help the program reach the, mile, the money that you need in order to keep those important programs going. Thank you so much for your time. That is Gord Ditchburn, president of the BC Professional Firefighters Burn Fund. Thank you.